Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to another movie review. And so, just want to wait first of all, I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July, you know. Got my Garfield, Garfield says hi. Says happy 4th of July as well. Um, so, for this uh, 4th of July movie review, I decided to review. I decided to review a film that I saw in the theater last year on the 4th of July, you know. And, and I put this this film in my top ten, top ten best films of 2013. But at the same time, I call I call this film the the best of the worst of 2013. If you if you, if you remember, because I know I know, I know a lot of people think this is, is I know a lot of people think it's a bad film. You know, yet some people some film find it an entertaining film in as well. Well, that's the same thing for me. You know. It's a bad, I put it, but a bad, uh, yet, um, inter a bad, you know, good, yet, slash good film, how you want to say it, you know. Um, and so then, the, and, and I complain, I complain, and I, well, I'll get to it, though, but, I, I'm viewing now, The Lone Ranger. Yes, The Lone Ranger, starring Johnny Depp, you know. Um... Now, why I say what I when I what I mean is because I put I put this I think what it was number nine I I put this in my top ten best films of 2013 but at the same time I said it, it's the best the worst film of 2013 that's why I put it on there because I find this film much more better than some of the some of the films some of the films in, uh, that I find better than in 2013 you know, which that were that were that were really boring and long drag out and other stuff you know. Like even though, like I said, it's a bad, like I said, bad film. But that's why, if I were to, if I were to say this was a bad film, I would say yes. It is. This is film. This film is over two, close to two and a half hours of, of boredom. I would say, you know. But that's why I would put it, you know. But still, there are some good things, some good points that I did like in the Lone Ranger. That's why it kept me going, you know. But yeah, but if I were not to say not like this film, which is why I say, you know, but. Here's the thing with that I would say. Um Yeah, it's it's two and it's two it's two and a half hours of two and a half hours of boredom. That's I would say though. But um yeah, of course, you know, we got a giant Depp, you know, playing you know, a character, you know, acting like, you know, like a, a crazy nut, you know. Um which he's better off playing as Jack Sparrow than Tonto, you know. Um and uh, I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not a fan of this guy playing the Lone Ranger, Army Hammer. Which this guy, which this guy was, I was in another film that I also did not like. I did not like the Social Network. I did not like that film. And he was, and he was also, he was in that film playing as twins, you know. And it's also, I thought it's funny. It's also funny that um, uh, Matt, aka Rambo Rat for Life, he called, you know, had a, had a funny name to this guy, you know. Um, Arm, Arm and Hammer, the bacon, you know, the bacon soda, Arm and Hammer, that's what he calls this guy, you know, because I thought it was really funny, because his name does sound exactly like the Arm and Hammer bacon soda, you know. Yeah, Army Hammer, Arm and Hammer, bacon soda, you know. I thought that was, I thought that was another, that was the funny, funny thing that, um, Ram, Ram, Ruff Life said, you know, Arm and Hammer, the bacon soda, you know. <laughs> yeah, so he, uh, he, he, he's, 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 a, he's also a funny guy, you know, I like his, mo I love his movie, I love his movie reviews, you know, and he's also funny at the same time. Um, yeah, but, yeah, this, I would, I would, I would, he's, he's not the right guy for playing the Lone Ranger, I would imagine somebody else, you know, but, um, I'll get, get as to the reasons why I also don't like the film, but yet still like at the same time, you know, because I, because I, because there are, there are, there are bad films I do enjoy, you know, that people don't like, but yet I enjoy them, you know, like, for instance, um, like Congo, you know, Con Congo, you know, people don't like a film, but I, 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 I love it at the same time. Um, even, even Howard the Duck, you know, it's called the worst films of all time, you know, which I don't get, you know, but even though I do understand it though, but yeah, I like Howard the Duck, so yeah, I do understand this is a this is a bad film, but yet still, that's why I put it the best, of the worst films of 2013, and on my top ten list, best films of 2013, you know, um. So that's what you know, and this is directed. This is directed by Gore Vermansky, Gore Vermans Verbinski, you know, who directed the the first three parts of the Caribbean films, you know, and and the Ring, you know, the the, the Ring, the, the two thousand three The Ring film, you know, which I do like. 
I think it was 2003 or 2002, I forget. But I do I do like the ring. So he uh, he decided to make this one. He thought now he thought this film, you know, since he, he since like in the trailer says from the Purdue from the makers of Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe he thought this film this one was gonna be hit because it's from the makers of Pirates of the Caribbean, you know. And plus, you know, you know, because um, but then maybe that's maybe that's why the thought could be hit. But um, even even um, when I first heard about this when they were making this film from 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 um in the summer of 2012, you know, during during the summer of 2012. When I first heard about they're making this film. I when I first heard about when about the budget, you know, how much the budget was, it was like two hundred fifteen to two hundred fifty million. I bet I I I I bet I knew right off the bat this was this was going to be a huge flop. Just as in the summer two thousand twelve, I, I knew when I first heard when they were, about the, how much the budget was, I knew this was going to be a huge flop. And when I first when it came out, how much it made all the weekend and to, overall total. I was right. This film was a huge flop, and I was right, cause this film came, this film came out July third, but I saw it on the next. I saw it on 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 independent on July fourth. You know, on in the theater. I paid money for it, you know, and it came out. It opened up at number two with like twenty nine million on opening weekend, on a budget of two hundred fifteen to two hundred fifty million. And it bombed badly in the U.S. It made 89 million in the U.S. In total worldwide, it made 260 million. That's that's like that's another huge flop that that uh, that, uh, that, I, that I expected. Just like John Carter, I would even say this. I like this film better than John Carter. You know that film alone was 250 million dollars. That film, you know. But I would do say I like this film. I like this film better than John Carter. But they, but they ain't saying much. Um, other good points. Uh, uh, um, no, other, other, other bad points. You know. So yeah, this film does deserve to flop. Still, that's that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm still not taking that back. It does still, cause when I first saw the trailer to this, I was, I was like, really? This film costs two hundred fifteen to two hundred two hundred fifty million, two fifteen to two hundred fifty million. Really? I did not see that when I first saw the trailer to it. Even I, when I, even when I, when I still saw the film, I, when I still saw the film in the theater, I, I, I still like this film doesn't look like it costs that so much money, you know. I've seen films that with with smaller budgets, like even in the hundreds, you know, still has still cost that looks like it costs about the same as this, you know. But of course, there's another also there's another western film that flop that, that, that was a huge flop, you know, like. Wild Wild West, Jonah Hex, and the uh, Cowboys and Aliens. Cowboys and Aliens, I love you know. I love Cowboys and Aliens, and, I, and I'm and I'm and I'm still pissed that that film was a, was a big flop, you know, because I I love Cowboys and Aliens. I was um, of course Jonah Hex, uh, Jonah Jonah Hex uh, sucked, you know, except for except for one scene, you know, but but I'm 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 not, I'm not getting to that Jonah Hex. I'll save it for another time. Um, and uh, Wild Wild West with Will Smith. Uh, I I don't know. I'm not. I'm not so sure. I'm still got mixed feelings about Wild Wild West. Do I find this better than Wild Wild West? Maybe slightly better than Wild Wild West. You know, but that still ain't saying much though. Uh, no, but no, but I also say Cowboys and Aliens is better. It's still better than this. Um, but um. Well, I'm I, I'm I'm almost not I'm nine minutes I'm nine nine minutes in I'm still so I haven't talked about the film. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain the whole film. You know, I'm just going because this is a too long a film. You know I'm not I don't want to go into too many parts though. So but um but I'll, okay well let's say quickly the other thing. But um the, this film has, does a six point six on IMDb which is fairly high for this film to be honest. You know which okay six point six on IMDb but it does have a thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes and it does deserve that you know. This is over thirty percent of Rotten Tomatoes, um, but there was also some good. There was some. There were some good points. There were some positive things. You know, this film was nominated for two Academy Awards for Best Makeup and Hairstyling and Visual Effects. You know, okay. This, this film, even though this film got um, some negative feedback, though at least though there was some good points. This film was nominated for two Academy Awards for Hairstyling, Makeup, and Visual Effects, and. There was a couple points, yes, the, the visual effects I did like, you know, especially with the train, you know, the train wreck, you know, and some other stuff, you know. And also at the same time, this film was also nominated for five for five Golden Razzie for five Golden Razzie awards, you know. 
which I do understand though, but which I'll say it's it was this was not only for worst picture, worst director, worst actor, Don, worst actor Johnny Depp, worst screenplay, and for worst prequel remake ripoff and sequel. And this film won for worst prequel remake ripoff or sequel. And which I totally just which I totally disagree. When I did my my review when I did my review um on who on on the video on on which film won the which one different Razzies you know you do check check out that video. Um, this and I, and I said this film this film this film does not deserve to win. This film does not deserve to win worst prequel remake ripoff or sequel because Scary Movie Five should have won that because that was complete utter load of bullshit you know. <sighs> Can't stand that effing movie you know. That was that was my worst film, in 2013. If anyone remembers my review, that film should have won for that film. This film does not this the Lone Ranger did not deserve. This film is I want to say this film was ten times better than Scary Movie Five. Pfft. Kiss me, kiss my ass, Scary Movie Five. Screw that film. Yeah, I that I I I would still say that film should have won for 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 uh, worst prequel remake ripoff or sequel, not the Lone Ranger. But what do I know? That's their just that's the people at that. that Razzie's decision, not mine. So I just want to say that. Um, but the, the, the yes, but there was also some good points to look at. The film was nominated for two Academy Awards for visual effects and makeup and hairstyling. Um, but there were there were some good points. There were some good points, but still there's still and there was still well, there was still a lot of bad points to it. You know. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right here, and and I'll get to part one. I'll get to part two, getting into the story, okay? But like I said, I'm not gonna say too much about because this, this film was a really long film, which is, sh which should not be that very, very long, you know. So, 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 so stay tuned for part two of this review.